So a few days ago, the Honorable Minister for Works and Housing, David Mehi, had a meeting with the cement manufacturers in Nigeria and agreed with them that cement should drop from between 10,000 to 12,000 Naira to 7,000 and 8,000 Naira depends on the location you are in in Nigeria. And my question to you, Honorable Minister David Umehi, is this. Who and who did you consult when agreeing or accepting an amount of between seven to eight thousand naira? Who did you consult? You see, one of the problems I realized that a lot of the uh, ministers, government appointees of this administration will continue to face is the fact that you just jump into conclusion and do things. <clears throat> What ordinarily I would have expected from you, Honorable Minister, is to ask the cement manufacturers of Nigeria to maintain status quo of how much they were selling cement, which was between 4,005, 4,008, thereabout, Why you set up a committee two weeks to look at the indices. Because if I ask you now, what are the indices that facilitated or necessitated the increment of cement to between 10 and 12,000 naira. And what were the indices that you also used to arrive at 7 and 8,000 naira? What were the indices? And how did they just agree to drop the price of cement in less than 48 hours that you called that meeting from between 10 to 12,000 to 7 and 8,000? If it was not purely extortion, is it that within that 48 hours, they now also consulted all what they were importing, now also dropped, or what exactly? What do they now do to be sure that they would not run at loss if they sell between 7 and 8,000 naira? What? You just don't jump into conclusion, agree, and you know that Nigeria is this kind of a country. Once things go up or stay at one particular price, to so come down the ad. Now I'm asking you, did you consult the people building us in Delta? Did you consult the people building us in Kanu, in Anambra, in Jos, in Abuja, in Benin, in, in Potakot? Did you consult them? Before agreeing between 7,000 and 8,000 naira. Why are we so much in a hurry to jump into conclusion? Because when you see cement manufacturers in Nigeria, it be like, say, they're many. No, they're not past three. They are not many. So why is it difficult for Nigerian government to stand its ground? To say, no, give us time. Maintain status quo. If they don't want to sell cement during that period, let them stay. Set up a committee. Look at the indices surrounding the increment in the first place. How many days have you set up a committee? What have you done to agree between seven and eight thousand naira, David Umei? That's the question I'm asking. Because we will not continue to allow government officials, government politicians, to assume the place of God to say whatever they say will just stand. No, you must put the Nigerian citizens into consideration because whether you like it or not over 70 to 75 percent of this cement that is being manufactured in nigeria is being used by individual private individuals not agencies of government so did you consult the larger market consumers before you took this decision because not everybody they see free money where they want to buy cement between seven to eight thousand naira in the first place, almost all the mineral resources, when they say they manufacture this cement, they are locally outsourced. They get them from Nigeria. So why this increment? I want to challenge the Federal Inland Revenue Service and the Nigerian customs. Tell us, in the last 10 years, how much has Dangote paid as tax? To the Nigerian government. Publish it, we're interested, we want to know. Make it public. We are citizens. Let's know how much Dangote has contributed to the IGRO. How much has he paid Federal Land Revenue Service? Tell us. Custom. All Dangote's importations. How much is he paying? 
to clear his goods. Publicists were interested, we want to know. Because most cases, persons are giving waivers. And yet, they are still the one who determines at the expense of every other Nigeria how they also want to do business. How much is Boa paying? We are interested, we want to know. Because immediately the cement price went up, every other building material became expensive. I'm saying to you, David Umei, that you haven't consulted us, and for us, cement at seven and eight thousand naira, it's still very much expensive. We cannot afford to still buy cement between seven to eight thousand naira. Yes, if government agencies you have money to throw around, you don't care. Have provided this contract and you are getting your kickback, you can give it at any amount. But as individuals who patronizes this market, we are saying that at seven and eight thousand. It is too much. You did not consult us and we challenge the Federal Inland Revenue Service and of course the Nigerian Custom to make public we are interested, we want to know how much the Dangotes, the Boa pay as taxes and how much they pay while they clear their goods from the wharf. Nigerians want to know.